It's finally fall season, which means I'm getting excited about fashion again. We're able to wear coats, jackets, regular pants, boots, etc. So yeah, as you probably know, fall is my favorite season. And I'm here with a bunch of new pickups. Uh, we have Carol stuff, uh, we have Deep D, we have many different brands and different products that I wanted to show. So I would say let's jump right in with the first pants that I bought leather pants from Isaac Salem. Those are pretty, pretty amazing, I have to say. I bought those from a seller in Germany and he stated those were um, leather pants. And when I received them, I thought, okay, he scammed me. This is a pair of like cotton pants or like jeans maybe because the fabric didn't really look like leather, but this is an incredible piece. So as you can see, it's a lovely gray color, has contrast stitching all over slim fit which i like feels really really amazing it's sort of a stretchy lambskin right super comfortable and what i love about those is you can wear them at the office or whatever and they look like regular pants like nobody notice notices those are leather pants it's sort of a suede-ish it's really hard to describe this fabric maybe if i come close you can get an idea so stretchy yeah, super cool pants. I'm happy with the color as well, but right? I prefer this over black because as you know, most of my clothing is black anyway. So lovely, lovely gray. One of my favorite details is this button system here that you can basically slide and then pull and super high quality. Brief look on the inside. So really like artisanal vibes, high, high quality. So that's my first pickup. Uh, let me quickly throw this on for you. As you can see, lovely slim cut, but still not too slim. So not like super skinny, but just love the color. And I would say they don't look like leather pants, right? What do you think? But they feel like leather because it's super matte as well, right? not shiny at all. And since they're so stretchy, like it's super easy to move. So next up, we have something that I haven't shown on this channel in a while now, that is running gear. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know that I have been sick with long COVID for a couple of months now, so I can't run. I still got some new running gear because I'm excited about getting back into the game. Hopefully that will happen soon. So I discovered a new brand uh, for running, which is called Acid Running. First of all, dope name. Second, they make really, really good products. So I picked up these shorts here. So those are two in one shorts, basically. Sort of have a split short design here at the side. And then you have a second layer underneath, which is keeping your thighs warm. I have worn those and I have to say, I love them. They fit really, really great. Fabric is lightweight breathable, stretchy, dries quickly, has a small pocket here for your essentials as well. A really, really cool vibes of the brand that I'm getting. And I think if you are into avant-garde fashion and you sort of like sports, doesn't even have to be running. Their clothing is really nice and fits our aesthetic, I would say. So really cool pair of shorts that I picked up as well as a long sleeve, which is pretty dope as well. Has sort of their acid logo here at the neck. It's super warm, but still breathable, which is something that is obviously important when you're running, especially out in those conditions that we're about to get in fall and winter. So a really cool layering piece. And then when you run, you have, if you wear something on top, you still have that cool acid detail here. So really, really cool brand. I'll link their uh, Instagram and website down below. So please go check them out, uh, especially in the running world. We need more cool brands, right? Because there's so few. So yeah, I will do a, a more detailed review probably on those as well, as soon as I am able to run. So you get a better feeling of the performance aspect of them, but I still wanted to share them because I thought they fit sort of the avant-garde slash running aesthetic really well. So here you have a look. Oh damn, I feel like running when I wear this. I wish I could. <laughs> so yeah, I picked a size large, by the way, I would say this fits pretty much true to size really good and snug fit. 
but not too tight. Great detailing here of the brand as well as here on the first level of the shorts. Really tight, like sort of insulating compression type and then you have a loose pair of shorts on top. So perfect for running, I would say. Fabric details. And I love the neck because it's not too high so that you're getting all sweaty and feel like you're choking, but it still keeps your neck protected, especially like when you have those wider cuts here, the wind is going in, especially in cold conditions, which we're having now, I think this is perfect. Alrighty, next item, let's get into some CCP. Got a pair of breadsticks, 100% cotton. Sort of like, it's a black, but it's sort of like a navy-ish black, so very dark. Navy, I would say, really, really cool details that you are probably familiar with uh, if you follow this channel. So it's 100% cotton, as I said, uh, size is 52. The only downside I would say on, on breadsticks is that they have no belt holes. So it is really difficult when I'm losing weight, for example, which I am at the moment. They don't fit me anymore, really. That's kind of a downside. I'm trying to find adjustments on the inside. I'm not sure if you are familiar with breadsticks, they have those things here on the inside where you could basically fit something through. Not sure what those are for. If you know, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, maybe there's a way to adjust size with that. But other than that, super happy with them because they are slim fit. The very formal, but still on a on a more casual side, which is really great, um, and I think they fit like the whole deep DCCP silhouette perfectly with a pair of boots, derbies, or whatever you throw in on a blazer, and you're 100% formal, or you just go in with a t-shirt, and then you're more casual. So that's a cool crossover, I would say, between those two worlds. Uh, which is important to me and yeah otherwise really thick and heavy material unfortunately this thing here the closing thing is broken so i need to somehow attach that back but that shouldn't be a problem but yeah super cool pair let me throw them on for you as you can see quite the slim fit lovely color With the t-shirt they look like chinos i would say but obviously higher quality and better shape and um, paired like with a jacket, more formal. So next up, we're going to look at a new pair of boots that I got. Those are from my man Stefano um, Botta S. I link his Instagram down below as well, so you can check them out. Really, really cool pair. I love the toe shape and the stitching detailing here you have uh, stitching detailing at the front as well and then a familiar tornado shaped zip lovely stacked heel i will do a full review on those very soon as well i just quickly wanted to show them because i'm so excited to have them so the leather is a wild horse leather with a beautiful structure they are hand dyed in a gray color which has some sort of fading towards blue which is a pretty unique color and sort of cool especially with the pants that i just showed you like they have sort of a black blue sort of, sort of uh, scheme going on so super excited about those a quick look, look at the sole maybe as well you have the logo stamping here beautiful pair So as I said, I will do a full review uh, very, very soon with a couple of fits, etc. so you get an idea, but uh, this is the shoe for now. Next up, a pretty exciting piece, in my opinion. This is a mohair knit from Darkling Serene. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it correctly, Serene. So this is a uh, pretty new brand from Ola and uh, Gaspar, which you probably know from Instagram. They are heavy into CCP. They're like the CCP couple. Both have like amazing taste. Uh, which is cool because they found out their own brand, which has amazing taste as well. And this is one of those examples. So this is a mohair knit, ultra high quality, um, pretty cool distressing. As you know, I like distressing, but it has to be tastefully done and that is rarely seen. Usually I would say 99% of distressing is not tasteful, 
this definitely is in my opinion so i'm really happy to have this you can see the stressing throughout pretty loose knit so it is sort of like see-through really really cool layering piece this is incredibly warm i knew no more hair was warm i thought since it's had so many holes and stuff it might not be that warm but it is super warm but still very breathable which is really cool and yeah really really great for fall and winter to layer you can wear um, long sleeves underneath even t-shirts if you're bold you can go naked underneath I don't have the body for that, but some people might. Layer stuff on top, etc. I love the neck as well because it has sort of like a wider neck. So really, really amazing piece. I'll link their Instagram and website down below as well so you can check them out. Uh, please give them a follow. New and upcoming brand and really, really dope stuff. So as you can see, pretty aggressive, distressing, but still tastefully done. Love the neck. I just love how it fits because it's a loose fit and it's thin but warm and great for layering as well. Show you a couple of more details here. Great length as well. Sort of relaxed. Next up, a pair of pants that I've had for a while, but I think I have not shown them on this channel yet. They have become my favorite pair of pants and they are the Deep D Long John pants. Material is face, right, which is um, wool, basically super thick and structured wool. The only downside from that fabric for me personally is that it attracts dark hair like crazy. I spent like the last 10 minutes getting rid of the dark hair for the video, but you can still see a couple. But beautiful, beautiful fabric, really similar in shape to the CCP Long Johns, which as you know, I love as well. So those two pants are basically my, or one of some of my favorites, but this is definitely my favorite pair of pants. Has a drop crotch, really great construction of the crotch in my opinion. And then you basically, adjust the size here with the two loops here on the ends. Front pockets, back pockets as well. Sorry for the dark hair. A bit wider at the bottom, right? Th those are supposed to sit a bit higher. Um, those are sort of like cropped pants, but I really, really love how they fit, what they look like, etc. So yeah, my favorite pair of pants. Just love how they fit. Fabric is super nice as well. Really thick and great for winter. Lovely drop crotch. A bit cropped, I think they look really good with high top sneakers. Drip sneaker, really good as well. So they look quite casual and sporty, which is cool, but they can be quite formal as well, obviously. Next, I quickly wanted to show you a wallet that I did. This is my personal one. So this is sort of an L-shaped wallet made out of genuine crocodile leather with a loop basically so you can hang it around your neck it's called nose around my neck wallet has a metal zip and not sure if you can see that here it looks on the inside so you have three card slots on each side so six slots for cards and then here is a coin pouch as well and a space for bills as well so really compact love the shape classic japanese design right the design is nothing new per se, um, but then has this sort of carabiner here and then a rubber coated, well this part is rubber only here. And then you have a leather strap, which you can remove by the way, right? so you don't have to hang it around your neck, you can use it as a regular wallet. I will make this out of other leathers as well, next will probably be um, soft horse, but I just love the texture and the feel of Genuine Croco is so amazing. New Skinosh website is launching soon, by the way. Maybe it's already live when you watch this video. We'll see, uh, maybe a week later, but uh, new products coming soon. Super excited about that. So next up, I'm running through here, we have another pair of CCP pants and those are dramatic, <laughs> I would say. Pretty dramatic drop crotch. Probably the most dramatic I've ever seen. Super light fabric. Let me see what 
fabric that is 100% cotton. The product code is PM1707 Fabric Right color 10. So this is a pretty old model that I just got in a trade. Probably wouldn't have bought those. Also because they fit super small, they're a size 52, but they fit like a, I don't know, 48 or something. So again, a black that is sort of navy-ish, a dark navy, and have really the biggest, let me show you from the back, the biggest drop crutch that you've ever seen or I've ever seen. Looks super weird. I still love the idea somehow. It's sort of, sort of something so new and I don't, not new. It's something so different, but I still feel weird kind of with it, especially because they're super cropped, right? And I just don't feel that comfortable when pants are cropped like that. I still love it or like it when other people wear it. I think it looks kind of cool, but I feel so, super strange. Maybe it's a matter of getting used to them. But yeah, cool pair of pants. Great addition here. You see the drop grudge when the pant is folded, right? Pretty intense. I haven't worn them to be honest. First of all, because they don't fit. Second, because I don't know, I feel kind of weird, but still a cool addition to the collection. So as you can see, quite a weird fit. I've paired those with uh, folded derbies, by the way. Could also wear them without socks probably, but it'll look even more weird. The drop crotch is just intense. <laughs> and I can't even get them closed up fully, hopefully soon, but yeah. Quite a strange pair. Somehow still love them. I don't know. Let me know, know down in the comments what you think. If that's something you wear or this is too much. I would say like from the front you can't even see the drop crotch too much, but then when you're turning around, <laughs> it looks like you shit your pants. But still super interesting pair somehow. Fabric is just so nice, especially for like spring summer because it's quite thin and comfy has been worn in, etc. Then I quickly want to show you a pair of shorts that I bought in summer. I haven't got around to showing them to you. A pair of Julius drop crotch shorts. So I was looking for drop crotch shorts forever and there are not many good options out there. So this is a pair of gray drop crotch shorts from Julius. Pretty cool. Lightweight fabric, pretty airy and super long drawstrings here at the front where you can, which you can use to tie. Also has a button of course, but yeah, nothing too special, but I think for summer, I was always struggling to find good shorts for summer. So I quickly wanted to show them to you, give them a recommendation. There are, are a couple of on grailed, so they're not that expensive either. So if you're looking for a pair of shorts, uh, which are cool, check those out. So that's what those shorts look like when worn. As I said, super like thin and airy fabric. Love the drop crush. I mean, that's a matter of taste. You either like it or you don't, you can still stuff those in so you don't see them. But yeah, really difficult to find a good pair of drop crotch shorts. Have large pockets in the front, as well as too large here in the back. Pretty unique design, as you know, Julius always has pretty unique designs, which I like personally. Most of the stuff, some is too fut futuristic for me, but those pants are perfect. I love the color as well. So yeah, simple but cool shorts in my opinion. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.